evening. In addition to raising money, it also gave the Paradise Band some much needed recognition. It gave them the chance to hit the road, play music with their peers, and it's something that they've been waiting for. This performance, the culmination of a day of music at Davis Senior High School. The fact that they encouraged us to keep playing and to uh, you know, embrace the music in our lives uh, is really what makes that so amazing and, make, and why we are so thankful. Greg Schofield is a junior at Paradise High School and a member of the band, which, if you ask him, is more like a family, especially after the campfire. We've been a huge support group for each other, just, you know, pillars of awesomeness and friendliness to keep each other up during these hard times. The band cut by more than half since the fire, one that took with it dozens of instruments, uniforms and cabinets full of sheet music, says director Bob Schofield, Greg's dad. Uh, I lost over a little half my students, um, and so we've combined the junior high and high school into one band of about 25 students. Today, though, is about rebuilding what was lost with the Save the Music in Paradise Festival, a fundraiser put on by Davis Senior High School's band director, Tom Slaybaugh. So there's a community that uh, we're able to care for each other, and that's really special. And, and, and music touches us in more than one way, and we're really fortunate. This moment, not lost on Paradise Junior Kayla Dixon. It's really nice to be recognized because a lot of the sports teams are always recognized, and they deserve it. I'm not saying they don't, and we're really proud of them, but it's really nice that they reached out to us, and we're happy to be here. Now they play beside 100 of their peers from different schools. It's going to be pretty neat that I can learn uh, how to better myself as a musician from this and also you know meet new people and make new friends and stuff. Unifying ahead of Paradise's next chapter, one that will have a new look and a new sound. It's important to note too that both Kayla's family and the Schofields both lost their homes in the campfire. For Kayla's family that meant coming down to Sacramento for the first two and a half months and then commuting to Chico every day for school. For the Schofields moving to Yuba City showing you that there's still a long way to go in the recovery process. Live in Davis, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.